Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Walker. And we're back with the Triple C. The girls volleyball team fought a tough battle against Boyer Valley. They played all five sets, making it a tight race, but unfortunately the Bulldogs came out on top. We are still very proud of our players. A reminder about the senior baby pictures. If you have not gotten them in, they are due at the end of the quarter, October 19th. Please get them in or email them to Mrs. Johnson. Now to Andrew with Student of the Week. Welcome to the Student of the Week segment. I'm here with Mrs. Johnson, who has nominated Cody Cambridge as Student of the Week. So what made you nominate Cody Cambridge for Student of the Week? Well, because he wasn't you. Oh, well, alrighty then. So what is Cody's major contribution to the class? Well, Cody is actually a very good student. He, um, one of the one of the activities that we do in multimedia is we do all the programs for the home football games and volleyball games, um, the program for homecoming, and Cody is always in class, right on time, ready to work, and is very creative with coming up with new designs for the football program this year, and he was a big help in that. That's awesome that he does all that stuff. So my final question, if you were to take on the role of any teacher in the school, who would it be? Well, I'd have to think a minute, but I've been teaching here for quite a number of years, and I think I would want to be Mr. Arp. I think working with numbers would be a fun thing. I like math, I like my accounting class, which I know is one of your favorite classes. Oh, yes. And I just think it would be fun to see how the students pick up on some of the logic and some of that kind of stuff. That's awesome. Thank you for your time. Now to Cody. I'm here with Cody Cambridge, the student of the week. So Cody, why do you think you got nominated for student of the week? Well, I like to do more than what I'm told and just get stuff done on time and volunteer to help out a lot of the time. So I think that's why I got nominated. No, that's pretty great. So who do you think nominated you for student of the week? I think Mrs. Johnson because I have my own eyes and ears within the company and uh, also I get along pretty well with her and I do pretty well in that class I think. That's great, she sounds like a great teacher. So my final question, what do you do in your free time Cody? I like to watch scary YouTube videos because I tend to overthink and uh, I get really sad if I overthink so I figure if I'm scared I can't get sad because you can't be sad if someone's trying to come at you with an axe through the window. <laughs> that was really deep. And, oh, yeah. Well, well, thanks, Cody. We will be having Froyo Friday this week, and it is $2 per cone. So bring your money and enjoy some of that Froyo. Tomorrow there will be a speech meeting during the second seminar in Mrs. Thomas's room. Please come in if you are interested in joining speech. The blood drive is coming up on December 6th. There's a sign-up sheet to schedule an appointment in the Commons. Please donate and save a life. And now to the weather. It's time for weather. Today is chilly with a high of 47. And a low of 34. Friday is raining with a high of 44. And a low of 35. And that's all for weather. And we out. <laughs> hey, Walker. Yeah, Andrew? So my dog used to chase people on bikes all the time. It actually got so bad I had to take it away. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, the dog and the bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyways, did you know that it takes precisely 142.18 licks to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Wow, that is just insane. Well, guys, that's all we have for this time. We will see you next time with the Triple C. <laughs>